Okay, so this video, I'm going to talk about my favorite, um, like, eyeshadow brushes. Yeah. <laughs> Eye brushes, yeah. I don't know why I'm saying eyeshadow for some reason. So anyways, this is the 227 by MAC, but you can buy any brushes from drugstore to, uh, I know Target carries the Sonia Kashuk. Eco Tools is in Rite Aid and CVS and I think Walgreens. And then the Real Techniques brushes, they're very affordable and they're at Ulta. And then you want to do online, I would suggest Sigma. I would love <laughs> Sigma brushes, but I don't have any. So, yeah. But I heard they're amazing. So, anyways, this one, I love to use it along with um, Brule eyeshadow. If you hear um, noise in the background, it's the children. They're playing. Because <laughs> I live in an apartment building. Okay. And my son is sleeping, so I'm pretty sure he's going to wake up pretty soon. So anyways, this is Berlay. And I love to use this one just to I dip it in there. And I put it all over my lid. Sometimes in the crease in, into the brow bone. And that's just uh, an eyeshadow base for me. Even, I can use it even as a highlight. I can use it as a lid color as well. But um, you see how I hit pan already? <laughs> so I love to use this one so I can... It's like a base for my eyeshadow so I can put other eyeshadows on top of it. Yeah, I like that. Okay, the next eyeshadow brush that I like to use along with that is the 224 by MAC. And this is more like a, a blending brush. This is the one that I'm, I always rave about because it's going to give you, do you see it? 224. It's going to give you that airbrush effect into your, um, to your eyeshadow. <laughs> this soft brown by MAC. And I swirl, swirl it in, tap off the excess, go into my crease. Okay, again. And I love this um, brush. It does wonders to your eyes, <laughs> to your eyeshadow. Yeah, I love it. You can even go like this to create that shadow. You see that shadow right there? Creating a shadow right there. So that's cool, you know. I love this one. And let's see. Another brush that I love to use <clears throat> is this one by MAC again. And this is the 217. The numbers fade out already because I already used it so much. you know. And this one... I like this one for many reasons because you can use this one um, for your lid color and you can use it, you can flip it, so this is your lid right, then you can flip it, turn it and then work in your crease and if you really wanted to get in, in there, you see how I'm doing it? And that's just going to, it's like a 3 in 1 brush, out of all of them that I have I recommend this one. because. You're not going to spend so much money on your brush and it's just going to do one thing. So I love that one for many, the many things that it does. Now this one I think is the 210. Or the, man, the 2 something though. <laughs> it's a smudge brush so you can find smudge brushes anywhere. Yeah, and I love to use this one with my... I had my carbon. I don't know what happened to my carbon. I think I lost it. Or I misplaced it. Um, this, I read about carbon because it's the best matte black color. Black eyeshadow color. But this is my breed. And you see those silver sparkles in there? Now you see it. You see that? It's so pretty. Now, um, I, I love, since I don't have carbon, what I do, I dip it in there. And don't worry about the sparkles because I want to make sure I'm showing you. Just tap off the excess like this, and then you go in, you know, and you just go like this. I always like to put eyeshadow after I put eyeliner because you see the difference between this eye compared to this eye. It's like, yeah, it looks much more. I would call it vampy. <laughs> yeah, but it gives you that sultry look, I would say. 
in that smoky effect and really the smudge brush is the purpose of smudge brush brush is to like it says that the name of the brush you smudge it in here that's just gonna you can even soften the look if you wanted to but I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video you know you see how he created that but of course I have to clean it up because I'm telling you carbon is the best and if I don't use carbon it's like oh, great you know not to clean up that if you're doing that look you know so anyways now I have to do the same on the other side <laughs> Because I'm going to look all weird if one eye is very dark and the other eye is not as dark. Yeah. I usually, I only make sure that I put eyeshadow on my eyeliner. I really don't like to smudge because you see how this has much more of a um, darker effect than the other one so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna clean up right there you see how I created this line <laughs> yeah much more of a cat eye look okay so that's cool you know I like that but obviously I would prefer carbon <laughs> yeah so the next brush that I love to recommend for you guys is um again the MAC but you can find anyone and this is this is the 210 so this one I'm sorry I think this one is the two the 218 or the 219 either one of yeah there's much more this one is a 210 and it comes with a clear thing right here the protector because it's so tiny and small you see that so tiny and small <laughs> and this one I would say this has uh, it's a multi-purpose again this one I would recommend if you're doing let's say for instance hold on I'm trying to figure where it is ah here it is because I, I use for my for my eyeliner right there you see it I use the art liner by Lancome this is in noir which is black I'm only using it up because it's the only one I have. So anyways, to set it, if you wanted to, today I didn't set it. But you can go easily go in there. Again, with my mirror, I'm sorry. And just dip it in in black. Tap off the excess and go in there. Because the reason why you should set your eyeliner always is so that way it doesn't have that fallout. doesn't run through your eye down. It won't make, you know, it just... It's just going to stay put. It's going to stay in place. That's the whole purpose that you're doing, you know. This is much more of a going out on the town. And you're going out at night and you just want to look much more. You see that? See the difference? I'm going to get closer. That's the difference, you see. So I love this uh, brush and I'm going to do it this way right there yeah and it's so easy to clean up to this brush because so small and I use this for my waterline I use it for my top line as well right there for my eyeliner right there and yeah it's cool so I love this one this brush. okay the next brush I'm gonna talk about real quick is because I'm checking my time this is much more like um, for eyebrows and of course this one it has the brush right here and with this one it's cool too because you can even if you wanted to what I, I use this for is to I comb my hair right you comb your hairs and you can actually have your eyebrows and use your little eyebrow scissor and you can just shape your eyebrows as too so. So that's cool, you know. And this is by Eco Tools. It came in a set of, I think, four or five. And then this one is the small angle brush right there. And this one I seen <sighs> makeup artists use for either the eyebrows. You can use it. Uh, 
I seen a waterline, but also you can use this for um, gel eyeliner. I don't have a gel eyeliner. It will come in a pot like this though. This is just a paint bottle, but um, you can use it for that too. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's my video on my eyeshadow brushes. I don't have any more brushes, eyeshadow brushes. Otherwise, I would have done a longer video, but I was... I'm also going to talk real quick about face brushes. Okay, this one is by Equal Tools and this is the powder one. And this one comes, I think it comes either by itself or it comes in a pack of four or five. And it's very inexpensive. It's so easy to wash and it dries. It does take its time to dry though. So you have to give it a day to dry. But um, that's the one that I like to use. Yeah, and it's it's very soft. It feels very soft in my face. I like this one. Okay, the next one I'm gonna go along is I love to know. I I rave about this brush, but you can find this is the Mac in this is the 187. I remember when it was a rave to have this brush, but um, you can find ones that are less expensive than the Mac. And this one I love to use it for uh, my blush. And let's say my blush is too pigmented, I use this one. You know, I tap it in there and, and just uh, put it on in my cheeks. And it's going to do its job. Okay, the next brush that I'm talking about is the um, Studio Gear in number 11. And this is the, the fluffy angled brush. It's an angled, right? It's, it's, it's fluffy not stiff it's is it soft no not as soft as the mac one not as soft as the equal tools but yeah it does its, it does its job um the only thing about this brush is that what i don't like is that it it has fall out so the hair does fall off this brush the hair does not fall off of the equal tools though this is an amazing brush i love it Okay, the next brush that I'm going to talk about is this small contour brush. It's a MAC. This is the, the 109? The 190? Or the 109? The 109. Ay, Barbara. Okay, the 109. <laughs> and this one, I use it more like a highlight. You know? Around my face. I use it for that. Because it's small. I used to use this for, um liquid foundation but I stopped using it for liquid foundation because I noticed that it was a pain <laughs> I noticed every time that when I was doing my liquid foundation right I noticed there were hairs and I had to like literally take them off that's something I, I I did not like so I didn't like that so now I'm using it as a highlight brush and I wish I don't know this the thing with MAC I like the way it's soft but at the same time, I don't like it because there's so much hair fallout. And that's it. That's my video. And I'm going to make another video. I think later on today. I think. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay.